Go ahead. Let me talk to you, my brother. Let's do it. We did not live in, in a utopia until Straight Outta Compton dropped. It wasn't utopia until that dropped. That and you and Straight Outta Compton is a masterful street conscious album. Ice Cube said, if you smoke cane, you a stupid mother effer. That's not glorification. That's not glorification. We got to really listen to it. Jay-Z said, do you listen to it or do you skim through it? Now, there are some, some instances to go ahead and try to, you know, support your argument. But I'm going to say this, man. Go read the destruction of the Black civilization and understand that this destruction has always been here since we touched this soil. And art imitates life, my brother. That's what happens. I don't think N.W.A. brought the, 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 the destruction age. I think they highlighted it. That was it. We love you, special ed, but fuck no. Next topic. It's almost like I always find myself asking, why are we talking about this? You know what I'm saying? When it comes to rap media. But I will say this, man. You know, everything that has ever destroyed our community and culture predates NWA. Period. Everything. I mean, what do we need to talk about? We can take it all away from slavery, Jim Crow, segregation, you know, the destruction of the of the uh, two family, two two parent home, mass incarceration, up to gang banging, up to crack dealing and prostitution. All this predates NWA culture. We supposed to be one community, and that energy that you're speaking about did exist when NWA came outside. People were like, "Yo, they selling a lot of records." People are paying attention to them now, more so than they're paying attention to us. And I feel like a narrative began. And once that narrative started going, you know, around the culture, we get songs like I Used to Love Her. Where Common makes mention, you know what I'm saying, to, to hip hop going to the West Coast and, you know, becoming gangster and basically questioning, does he still love the culture because it went to the West? You know, being seven and a half years sober now, um, the last thing I'm going to do is judge somebody. Now, even me, I'm going to be honest. When I used to drink, there was a side of me that used to come out in the booth during the creation process that doesn't really come out much more now that I've been sober. So drinking does and smoking and, and you know, it does bring different thoughts to the table you know what i'm saying i will say that i'm not advocating it by no means because it also comes with side effects like death now if you get on drink champs and they load you up and you drinking and you start saying things some people say it's truth serum some people say that your true feelings will come out so maybe that's the reason why you know the platform is is the way it is because they want they want to hear people unfiltered you know what i mean and they want to hear people's real opinions without them you know guarding them and being political because it's very hard to be honest in rap media like being honest in rap media is so rare that somebody tells a little bit of truth and it makes big headlines because everybody's political nobody wants to tell the truth <laughs> You know, and I've experienced how people get loose. When I was on, when I was on Jimmy Kimmel back in the day, which with should still ignite, and I was on Death Row Records, they kept the apple martinis going backstage for Suge. So when y'all see Suge get out there and he kick his feet up and he talking his talk, yeah, he he a couple martinis in. You feel me? This is an old trick. It's an old trick, Trent. 